Hello, my name is Stefan. I'm a PM on the remote desktop services team and I'm here today to show you a proof of concept for the app attach. That's a new feature that we are planning in Windows Virtual Desktop. A quick disclaimer, this is a demo environment. So a lot of the steps are performed via scripts. Uh, those will be eventually baked into the service. Um, and with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and walk into one of my session hosts and show you how uh, App Attach behaves. So here I am in one of the uh, VMs that are part of my session host pool. A uh, few things here. Uh, we're gonna start with first showing you that my C drive, it's gonna keep its size once we perform the App Attach. And then we'll chat why is this happening. Uh, the other thing I would like to show you is the fact uh, that package itself it's living on network share so it's not on my machine here it is and the other thing is that we are actually gonna be using the VLC player and to further prove that the fact that I don't have it installed on this machine I'm gonna look for it to my uh, search menu and you can see here that is actually pointing me to Bing since it's not present locally okay um, now I'm going to go ahead and perform the actual app attach. So I'm going to come here into my PowerShell. I'm executing this is an, in ele elevated mode uh, for obvious reasons. So I have a short script here called app attach. I'm going to execute that one. And you can see how long it takes to perform the app attach here. Um, so again, Disclaimer, this is not optimized. This is just um, what we have right now with a, a minimal amount of investments from our side. So with this said, let's go and check our C drive. And you can see the size hasn't changed. Um, we're going to go ahead and then start looking for VLC. Going to open it. OK. Um, so as you can see, it does run. Um, I didn't have to install it. So that's one of the benefits of uh, using an MSIX. Um, the way that my VHD was prepared is actually we took an existing, the, the existing VLC uh, executable. We packaged it as an MSIX and then we convert, didn't convert. We just renamed the MSIX to a VHD because in uh, essence, they're the same. I'm quite simplifying it here. But you can see it actually runs. Uh, that's great. Um, it's running. I'm running it as an admin on the box. So the next thing that needs to happen is I need to publish that to my users. Uh, and I'm going to do that through uh, PowerShell. Um, and actually, I'm not going to show you that because that's a relatively straightforward. The syntax is exactly the same as uh, for any other application that we're publishing in Windows Virtual Desktop. Uh, what I would like to show you now is the end user experience. So here I am um, in my web client. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my test account. I would like to call out uh, that I also don't have a single sign on, so I'll get another prompt. And you can see here, it has downloaded uh, my feed. And right here in the feed, I have the VOC via app attach. I specified this name so it's easy to distinguish. And at this point, I'm going to start the remote app. And this is taking me to the standard Windows Virtual Desktop login. Um, we'll have to specify my credentials one more time as I called out. And here is happening the handshake, the establishing of the connection, and eventually executing of the app itself. And as you can see, I have my uh, VOC player remoted to me from a desktop, uh, from a desktop uh, location via Windows Virtual Desktop, and using our HTML5 client, and it's uh, fully functional. So some key summaries, um, my disk size didn't increase, 
and here we're gonna go back into my disk and uh, show you that so my disk size remained the same I didn't have to install the application and I was able to publish it as any other uh, application my user wouldn't be able to, to distinguish between the two application due to the fact that uh, in my feed they work exactly the different uh, exactly the same and here they behave exactly the same thank you